story time We love a tale that's so sublime Got some popcorn feeling fine Cause here comes story time Cause here comes story time <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a man named James who was a professional harp player. He played an expensive harp that was made of pure gold. He was very, very good. So good, in fact, that he was sought after not only by orchestras, but by all kinds of groups from rock and roll to country to rap. You see, he could play any type of music whatsoever. But although James was much in demand and successful financially, he had a secret desire. I want to sing. Yes, James had always secretly wanted to try his hand at singing, but he had never openly expressed that desire to anyone, until the night he met Rocky Gambino, the owner of the largest nightclub in town. Oh, so James, nice to finally meet you. Likewise, I'm sure. So, kid, the reason I called you in to meet me is that I'd like to hire you to play at my night. Club. The boys think that your hop would add some pizzazz to their playing. So what you doing these days? Well, Rocky, have you ever heard of Samuel Clam? I'm playing at his place. Hell, boy, me and Sam go back many years. Back east, Clam's nightclub was the hottest place to go for many years. I know, but now Sam has turned it into a disco because that music's coming back. A disco? A disco. That's crazy, boy. I could pay you top dollar to work for me here. Wanna play tonight? I can't play tonight because I don't have my harp with me. You see, James's harp was worth over a million dollars, so he didn't carry it around with him all the time. It was in a safe place. So, kid, where's your harp? Well, Rocky, that's confidential for security reasons, so I can't tell you. Hearing that, Rocky's curiosity was really piqued, and he had to know where the harp was. Ah, come on, kid, you can tell me. No, sir, I can't. But Rocky was very determined to get the answer out of James. Look, kid, tell me where your hop is, then go get it, and I'll pay you what you make in a week at the disco for playing here for just one night. No, I'm sorry. I can't tonight. Okay, look, I'll do anything to get you to tell me where that damn hop is and play for me tonight. Anything? James hopefully asked. Yeah, you name it. Well, Rocky, I've always wanted to be a singer, but I never mentioned that to anyone. But you have this great nightclub, and I'd love to sing here. Can you sing? Sing, kid? Well, I don't know. That's why I want to try. If you'll let me get up on stage right now and sing just one song, then I'll tell you where my harp is. Then I'll go get it and play for you here a whole week for free. At this offer, Rocky was thrilled, so he said, Okay, kid, you got a deal. What you need up there? Just a mic and a piano player. Okay, then. You're up next. So James went to speak to the piano player, and within a few minutes he was ready. The audience was dead silent, getting ready to hear this world harpist sing in public for the very first time. A bit nervous, he announced. Thank you, folks. I hope you enjoy this. Ready, maestro? Okay, then. I left my heart in Sam Clam's disco. So, although the audience had a bad reaction, it was to the pun and not his singing, because he had a very good voice. So he was hired on the spot as a full-time singer and lived happily ever after. But his contract stipulated that he must never sing about a pun again. And thus ends our wonderful tale. Or a nursery rhyme well, Listen up, you'll feel sublime Cause here comes story time This has been a Tex Brashear presentation